Hello and welcome once again to the Rugged Rockhound. Today, once again, I'm joined by Eric and his family. They're out here helping me explore the San Rafael Swell again, just like last time. We're gonna explore the uh, kind of the main area that people know about. That's just this area right back here. So as always, here's the GPS coordinates to the parking area. And we're just gonna search the hills, see what we can find this time, see if we can find some better Jasper nodules, maybe large ones, maybe some crystals in the middle. I don't know, we're still trying to find that area. Let's get at it. Oh, we made it up to the foot of the hills and there you go. A bunch of this stuff. These are the smaller ones. And the hope is that up higher you get some of the larger pieces. But yeah, there's there's a couple different layers of this stuff. So here close up you look. So a lot of them are gonna look more like this. And some of them have some of the nice botrytal shapes on them that might look good. I might take that one and cut it. So it seems like you get some that have a white core, and then the ones that are more solid are usually red and yellow. Here's this one cut open. Oh, didn't quite get that lined up right. There we go. Yeah, it fractured when I cut it. That's pretty cool though. I like that one. You got a little bit of purple going through there, and just how it has that table of yellow on the bottom of it. Here's this one cut open. Very red. At least it's not a lot of white like so many of them. Just a little white in the middle. <laughs> yeah, it's better than a lot. Still, there's not a lot of contrast. So I'm gonna try and grab the ones that have kind of the most spherical shape to them and just cut a few of those. Just see if we can get any really good ones. Huh? A little better material, let's think. A little bit. It's still very familiar, <laughs> very similar to the other stuff, but yeah, I would say a little better. Here's this one cut open. That's got a little pocket of calcite in it. Otherwise, not very pretty. <laughs> Here's this one cut open. Huh, this one's a little different than the others. I wonder if this is a lot of calcite. Could be, or it could be the celestite actually. That would make sense because the way it's just kind of breaking. And it has a slight blue tint. That one has a little better color to it. Might take that one. Okay, that one's looking a little better. Getting some much better pieces right through here. So far as color. And they're bigger. That's what we want to see. Here's this one cut open. Interestingly, as I cut it, this section actually fractured out in a weird wedge. Huh, it almost has a pink hue to it. That's interesting. That one looks pretty nice. Maybe. So the little stuff's on the bottom come up here on top. We're definitely getting the bigger stuff up here. Okay, that one looks more solid. Some better color in it. I think I might keep that one. This one looks really interesting. This one I probably want to get cut open. Take a look at it. Yeah, that looks cool. That might be really nice inside. Here's this one cut open. I like how it stayed together. Oh, it is fractured. Looks cool though. I don't like when it has a ton of white in the middle. It just has a little bit of color on the edge, but still nice. All right, there's a chunk that looks pretty nice. Maybe. I'll hold on to it for now. Uh, I think it's better than that one. Well, I don't know. That one could be really nice too. Hmm. <laughs> now I have to decide what I'm actually going to keep, right? <laughs> Hi. Can you put me on it? Yes, there you are. You're on it. <laughs> This one might be good. I like can, how solid it looks. Can you and... put me in it again? <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, that one might be good. I'll take that one back. Look it. This cactus that one looks it. like it might be nice too. <laughs> hmm, maybe. Here's this one cut open. Okay. Be interesting. I like it. Sorry, there was a low flying jet over there. 
There's, a, there's an air base over there not too far, so every now and then they come flying around. Yeah, you probably couldn't even hear me there. <laughs> anyway, yeah, look at that one. That's really nice, isn't it? Pretty. What did you find? Um, I found, I don't know. Yeah, it's it's another nodule, but it's kind of sparkly in the middle. Got some quartz crystals. Really cool. Yeah. So this one has a nice round I'm shape. Kind of I'll take that one and cut it. Yeah. Here's this one cut open. Oh. All right, we got some uh, defined red and yellow there. Not too bad. Still not the greatest. But at least it stayed together. This one here had some white in the middle of it. This is broken one sitting right here. It's Stuff fun. is all over the place. It's fun. What's this one you got here? Let's take a look. Look at that thing. <laughs> it's that. fun. Nice job, Riley. That one's got the nice botch riddle shape on it, and it looks like the inside might be really good too. Yeah, I think I'll keep that one. Here's this one cut open. Okay, we got some of the circles along the edge. Less circles than I'd hoped, but still, it's very nice. Just too much white in the middle, though. <laughs> so up here further on top, we found a few pieces that had some crystals in it, calcite, and what looks like to me barite, but there might be some celestite. And found some pieces here that are kind of nice. And here's some more of those pieces like we were finding over there, where the rind of it is kind of colorless. Kind of the inverse of some of these. Pretty cool. Here's this one cut open. The other side shattered. And it used to be much bigger. Just tons of fractures in it. But I wanted to show you this piece because it looked pretty cool. It's like a vein of the stuff. Really cool. Here on the very top of the mound, I'm finding some purple. So, a little bit of purple here. See that? Purple. Yeah. Hmm. Found some uh, better looking Ooh. chunks over here. Look at this one. Yeah, it's got some purple and pink in it. Whee. So, yeah, that one might be nice. I don't yep, know. Yep, it is! We'll take it my back. name is Riley. Definitely finding some interesting ones up here on top. Now that sliver is really pretty. That splotch of red in there. That's cool. So I'd like to get some pieces where we can cut it and get faces like that on it. That'd be cool. Hmm. What about this? That's chunk. Oh, now that looks promising. Let me spray that off. Sprayed it off. That is very jasper <laughs> very much a jasper hmm i don't know but like a lot of things so fractured i'll think about it this one's very interesting it's some very bright red in the middle of it interesting very fractured this one has some better color i think going through it fractured but better color might keep that so this is pretty cool we're getting some pieces here that have weathered out with the regu or original shape on the outside. <laughs> cool shape. Hmm. Maybe I'll keep a couple pieces that have really good shape to them. Yeah, these ones that have these red, the red botryoidal formation right in the center of them are really cool. Very interesting. So yeah, down below is the place where you park, down off of this. Definitely up here on this little mesa. This is definitely where you're going to find your better stuff. But like most places, you get, you get away from where people are parked down below, you get up on top, and that's where you're going to find your better stuff. And I bet you if we can get out further away from here, stuff should keep getting better and better. So yeah, up here on top, I've found some pretty good stuff. The hope then is that... As we get further away, find more stuff. Yay! On the way back to my bucket, I just picked that thing up. 
That looks interesting. That looks like something I'd like to take back and cut. I like the look of that one. Cool shape on the outside. Mostly intact. Yeah, we'll get that one. Yep, you're up on top. It is literally everywhere. Just so much. So much to choose from. <laughs> the center of that one's nice. Got some red there. Cool. Now, if you could find a complete undamaged one that had a center like that with that red in there. The cool banding. Now, that would be something. All right, this spot right here has got bigger pieces, definitely. Look at that one. Definitely getting better. And that just looked cool. I might want to cut that one. Maybe this one will be nice. Maybe. I'll think about that one. Yeah, just chunks here. See that? Of course, that looks like it's mostly just going to be the white in the middle. But, hmm. I don't know. So many options here. What about this? Looks like a little bit of calcite right in the middle. Maybe something other than calcite. Celestite or barite. Interesting. Anything else? Really cool. Yeah, see, much bigger pieces. Much bigger. That looks like quartz, mostly. Yeah, chunks though, huh? Ooh, look at that. That looks like it's got some crystals in it. Yeah, wash that out. That looks pretty good. Probably cut that one. Yeah. Here's this one cut open. That's a lot of white. <laughs> got a little bit on the bottom right here, going, to, well, going across there. Other than that, too white for my taste. Made it back to my bucket where I could spray off a few of these things. All right. That probably has a little bit of celestite in there. And this one. Interesting. Cool. And this one, still a little bit of dirt in there. But yeah, fascinating things. Now that I'm pretty sure is some celestite. So I think we got a little bit in this one. Cool. Here's this one washed off. Really nice cluster here of celestite crystals. Really cool. I think this is the best looking pocket that I've seen of the celestite crystals. So far as, uh, the most intact ones. I bet if we could get just a fresh one, we get some out, outstanding crystals, but these unfortunately have been broken and weathered for due to time. All right, I found the really nice spot people have been coming up to. There's been places dug all through here. So the main parking area is just down there. So you just come up on top, like I said, get up on top of the hill. And all through here, we're getting bigger pieces. But the big thing is they've got crystal pockets in them. Look at that. Beautiful. Those are uh, calcites. And then I liked this one. Let's see how that's going every which way. It's really cool. And just, yeah, just a bunch of these all through here. And some of them are really big. So maybe we'll do some of our own digging. Maybe we'll just surface find. Whatever. Yeah, look. There. Another one just sitting there. <laughs> a lot of calcites. Okay, I quickly washed this one out just to get a better look at the calcites in side of it. Look at all that. Of course, the calcites have been weathering, but still very nice, really cool. I need to get it cleaned really well. Eventually, I'll get around to that. Eventually, I want a sonic bath. Here's this one cleaned off. Look at those calcites all through there. So this was exposed. So there's a little weathering going on. And it's still a bit dirty. I still need to like do a sonic bath on it. But look at those crystals. They're really nice. I bet we could find some really good ones out there. Here's this one cut open. 
had some empty space in the middle of it. You have calcites and it looks like a little bit of a little bit of the celestite growing in the middle right there. Here's this one washed off. You can see some celestite crystals on it. Cool. Lots of uh, calcites also. All through it. But yeah, we got some nice celestites right here in the middle. Got the rest of the family up here. And I just pulled that one out. Nice big round one. That should be good. Cut into that. We'll see what it looks like. You don't know until you cut it. Here's this one cut open. <laughs> this piece broke off. Oh, the top though is really nice. Look at the uh, color and pattern there. Yeah, the very top of it is nice. The rest is whatever. <laughs> but yeah, that top, nice. Here's this one cut open. Oh, very fractured. At least this one's all red inside. Well, I got some little circles in it too. Interesting. Here's this one cut open. <laughs> There's almost nothing in this. Well, that's too bad. Here's this one cut open. Sorry about the bad lighting. That's just the winter weather. Uh, <laughs> I have a feeling I'm gonna have a lot like this. Okay. Well, very little jasper slash agate. Mostly just the uh, main rock that it's in, which kind of is like a mud to sandstone. Here's this one cut open. This one's fracturing as I speak. Oh, but it's got a nice pocket in it. Look at that. Some nice calcite. And those smaller ones could be gypsum. That is cool, though. Those are better calcites than we're seeing in a lot of these. And here's this one cut open. So it already had a nice pocket here of calcite. Well, relatively nice. So let's see if it continues. Yeah, pretty much. Here's this side. It's not terribly pretty though. It's really dirty. Might take a bit to clean something like that off. And we're back at the vehicle. What a day. There was a bunch of things I didn't actually show that we dug up that were just nodules that I'm gonna cut into. So you're gonna probably, you probably will have seen those already cut. <laughs> and so I don't know, some of them might be great, some might be, who knows? Hopefully they were amazing. So now you know where it is. You've got the GPS, come out here, take a look around. And of course, like I said, get up on top of the hill, search out there and get out there a ways and you should be able to find some really good stuff. Until next time, remember, there is treasure everywhere.